Hello, and welcome to Fallout New Vegas. So, where I got to last time, I accepted a job to try and help with some radio security updates for the Ranger Outposts, only to discover I didn't actually need it to uh, find that Ranger Station Echo, so that I could get, get a happy ending for Private Edwards down around Camp Searchlight. But uh, no matter. Of course, now I have a very long way to go to get to Ranger Station Bravo. So, how am I going to do this? And there's lake lurks all over the place. Going to make a quick detour to the gun rise to stop up, stock up on ammo for myself and Boone. And we are just going to head off to the, off to the east. Right. Here we are. Oh, is that a leaking pipe? Let's see if I can fix that from Probably can't, but no. Push. Probably a way to do it from all the way over there, but I can't be able to do that. Oh, geckos. I have some of the 556 rounds so that I'm not very much in very short supply of. Yep. Lever action shotgun, which I'm not really using. Probably do that a bit more. We do seem to recall there will be a Legion of Assassins out this way. Ah, uh, just a gecko. Yep, we made it. Dirty water, even though it's radioactive. Need any of that? Yes, and that's going to be another get. That must be Pulse Shack. Oh, Death Claw. This is where the Antimeter Rifle is going to be handy. Well, turns out they do have some armor. Oh, for fuck's sake, and there's a fucking legionary group here as well. Fire on the hull.
price. Take a couple of those and eating some powder. Get some health back. He's running. Nothing yet. I'm not even using this revolver. Because I have that gun instead. I have the strength to handle that gun. Hmm. He's sending his Praetorians, his best or most most loyal troops out. How long is it going to take them to do it then? Oh yeah, man. Or death goes over there. Is that a warp? Word of advice, do not use hollow points or shotguns on death club. Unless you have access to the shotgun surgeon perk. Hmm. I wonder if I could take him out. Well crap. Well, that did not go the way I was planned, so let's try this again, shall we? Then I'm going to try heading towards Gulf and then along the shore. That's probably safer. Probably, but it's the Mojave. Something. Does 32 damage. This does 34. Thirty. You need to sell this off as well. You'll keep this as the anti-death claw defense weapon. Golf, right, so head up over to the gun. Don't they don't? Moon. Welcome, sir or madam.
We don't need that much of this. Uh, stuff here I really don't need. Still haven't got around to putting that on the... I can't actually cook that. Nick. Start review and I think I might be able to use those. Psycho those want to use them anyway. South Boy, I'm not even using these, so... Wait, before I do anything else, I'm going to Vegas... Find it first. And see about getting a couple of implants for that... Extra strength. So build some of these guns more effectively. No, that's just him. I don't know why it insists on locking onto my companions. It's because I do. No, there won't, probably won't be a, any of those over here, but. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. Yeah, what kind of implants do you have? I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? That would be the Nemians. It won't make you bull- Oh, the cat's not right now. I can implant the hypertrophy accelerator for fourth. Have a seat in- 4,000 caps. Nice. Is it just six? That's- Right. Golf and the Hmm. Actually on second thought, there's a very quick quest I can do here just to get some extra XP. Charge. Y'all sure are a big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. How'd you end up here, Jeremy? Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa 
Pa said he couldn't afford to feed the three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. It's all right, I guess. I don't like all the fighting we got to do, though. Why are you so afraid of fighting? I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. Every day she told me that. I guess I done took it to heart. Huh. I bet. That's true overall, but maybe not so useful here. What about your squad mates? They're mostly pretty nice. Coindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Brass kind of scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. Towns. Turns until... This bit's... That's what it is. Looking for whoever's in charge. Uh, yeah, I might as well wait until tomorrow. I just got word that first recon is being mobilized to Nelson. God forbid we get any reinforcements here, right? Did you end up at Camp Golf, Sarge? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hot spot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. I've gotten soft with no action. So, what do you do now that the fighting's tied down? Mostly drill the troops, try to keep the discipline up and combat readiness high. It's not the easiest job in the world. Soldiers without a mission get bored very easily. Still, with the Legion just across the river, we have to be ready. Sounds like you're a little disappointed in your troops. Disappointed? We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, a kid named Mags. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them. That matter. Hmm, maybe I can help you with that. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. They ran, Sergeant. Hell yeah, this is the quest. They're all in their tent. Not with Hoharan first. Y'all sure are a big old hero. Sergeant McCready asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. To me? I'll tell you what I think this squad needs. A little more basic human niceness. What do you mean? Folks just don't talk to other folks. And everybody's always cross with each other. You think I should find ways to convince the misfits to get along? That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably wouldn't take you serious no more. So maybe you ought to think about it first. And I sure hope you're more convincing than I am, or they ain't gonna listen. I'll ask around first. Whatever you think's best. Toodaloo. My Dexter, is I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? Sergeant McCready asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. That seems highly illogical. What reason would he have for doing that? I think he might respond better to someone who isn't an authority figure. Well, this is an unexpected variable. I had hoped to coast on an easy wave of mediocrity to a cushy government pension. Maybe I can help How out? How do you propose accomplishing such a goal? Me, then I might cheat. Hmm, an intriguing proposition. Company readiness reports are logged on the computer systems at the resort. If you hack the system, you could alter our records. Such an attempt, however, is likely to thwart efforts to motivate the squad to do actual work. If such is your goal, you should look elsewhere. I'll 
ask around a little more. As you wish. I'm sure the optimal solution will become apparent to you in time. I somehow suspect you'll be... Oh shit, here comes the brown noser. What you want? Dr. McCready asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. Yo, I'll tell you what this squad needs. A healthy dose of angry juice. Angry juice? Psycho, the big red one. I used to run with the fiends. I still got the hookups. Smuggle some in and you'll see an improvement. Let's also see how this burst. Whatever. Nothing about your squad mates? We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindexter's a smart-ass prick. Mm. Well, Hanrahan's a big pussy. Ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags? Well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering. You dig? Sounds like winners? Whatever. Not like I need any of them. I do just fine on my own. Right. Hmm. Thanks. Hell of a battle at Nelson. I'm impressed our troops survived. Dr. McCready asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. He did, huh? Well, good luck with that. You'd have an easier time teaching rad roaches to march in formation. Not be all as hard as as hard as all that. It needs to get done. Well, if you ask me, what we really need is to get this whole squad out on the practice range, shape up our marksmanship and explosive skill. I'm sure the others have their own ideas, though. I'll talk to them about their ideas first, see what they have to say. Okay, I'll be here if you come to your senses. So, there are more ways you can do this. Get them hooked on Psycho, track the combat evaluation records, wait and they just get along with each other better, or put them out in the, on the practice ring. I think the, I think the practice range makes most sense here. Wow, the big celebrity down here with the common troopers. What can I do for you? So about those improvements. Yeah, what about it? I told you we need marksmanship and explosive handling improvements. Get them out to the range. Are you sure? I've got enough clout to get them started, but these guys are pretty lazy. I doubt they'll want to be pulled in different directions. Let's do it. You're the boss. I actually can't remember how much explosive and gun skill I need for this. I think it's 50 of each. Explosive is only 30. Guns is 65, so we have that going for me. Alright, come on guys, hurry up there. Okay, everybody's lined up and take positions where you can cover each other. Stay focused. You heard the man, people. Get focused. Take your time. Pick your shots. Tell your squad mates who you're shooting at. I've got the one at eleven o'clock. Raz, O'Hanrahan, take the two on the right. Poindexter, the center. Tail before you fire. Squeeze the trigger. Don't jerk it. Right. Exhale. Squeeze. Focus on the shot. Well, I think that went well, don't you? Thanks for the help. I think the whole unit's doing a lot better now. First recon's a camp forlorn hope. Now we got a chance to hold it. Wow. The big celebrity down. So did the shooting practice take care of things? It helped, but we still got a grenade range inspection to pass. Let's give that a try. After the help you gave us at the shooting range, we'll take any advice you've got. I'll line them up. Okay, we've got our dummy grenades and Okay, start, pull the pin, let it cook off for a count of three, then throw. Right, easy enough. One, two, three. Now, um, whip them downrange like you're throwing a fastball. They're kind of heavy for that. 
but whatever you say. What the? <laughs> You've got a. <laughs> okay, that was a bit silly. <laughs> See now. Perception buffs that. Can I do anything about The Patriarch's Cookbook, that gives me plus 10. Oh, what does that? 35. Okay, this is really enough. Red Tats and a. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Wow. The big. Not even a little. Let's try it again. Okay, if you say so. It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Okay, we've got our dummy grenades and the. Start, pull the pin, let it cook off for a count of three, then throw. Right, easy enough. One, two, three. Don't pitch it like a baseball. Lob it. Good solid arc is what you want. Solid arc. Lob them up and over, people. Don't worry about accuracy. Use the grenades to break up clusters of enemies. Hold the grenades for group squad. Hit them in clusters and send them running. I think that went well, don't you? Yeah, I do. Thanks. I think we might survive this now. Wow. The How's the squad doing? Thanks to you, I think we're in good shape. The squad seems to be functioning much better as a unit now. Well, that was nice and quick. So that's me probably up at level 12 now. Oh wait, not quite. Let's go talk with the sergeant and see what he has to say. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. The misfits are drilling better than I ever expected. Yeah, whatever. That's a help. Hmm, not much not much XP from that. Well. I think I'm gonna end this episode here, make this one a little bit shorter because the last one was a bit long. So next time. I think I will actually just go and continue with all these um, upgrades. It'll be easier to get to. This one, I've got to get past Death Claws, Legion, Engineries. But anyway, that's going to be it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.